Well, goodness gracious, hello everyone, this is the Joshua Bite. Uh, I'm coming at you guys with a great new video review, and I am way excited about this. <laughs> and I hope you, you guys are too. Um, Transformers uh, Shockwave uh, Voyager. Um, I'm going to start them off in this mode, and uh, then I'll transform them, transform them back. But uh, as you can see, nice new backdrop. I'm excited about that. That looks great. Uh, some nice white. Oh, it just looks fantastic. And I know this is going to turn out beautiful. And what better way to start it with Shockwave. All right. Um, so, packaging for Shockwave real quick. All right. Uh, shows a nice CGI picture of Shockwave. Uh, Shockwave Decepticon. Uh, shows the uh, Shockwave's bio. It says, Few have ever seen Shockwave and lived. This is the hand that ensures Decepticon's plans remain secret from the Autobots. He eliminates evidence and witnesses with brutal, emotionless efficiency. The only hints he ever leaves of his presence are smoking craters and collapsed tunnels through which he travels. All right. That's fantastic. Uh, Got to put this back in. Um, nice picture of Shockwave. Shows your his mech tech weapons. Um, yes. Uh, ground assault mode. And yeah. So look for Transformers Prime on your hub. Uh, his technical data. Uh, strength is eight. Intelligence ten. Speed four. Endurance eight. Rank eight. Courage nine. Fire blast ten. And skill seven. Sorry, that's my uh, friend. Um, so yeah, so it, it, it all looks, um, you know, awesome. Just shockwave looks awesome. Now, uh, in his vehicle form, um, he does roll. I'm gonna actually get down to a shockwave's uh, point of view now. Um, so yeah, he rolls nice. He rolls actually nice. He's got these, and uh, he does have little rollers right here for his tank mode. Um, he does have his nice gun. Oh, uh, right here. He does have his nice gun. Sorry, that's my friend calling me. Um, he's got his nice gun. He's got the nice G1 looking hose. Uh, everything looks great here. Uh, his mech tech is, uh, you do this, and uh, that flips forward. Uh, yeah, so like that. Um, so that that's cool. Uh, you can always uh, right here. Hang on. Uh, just need to insert it into the pin. But uh, if you do this, you can just pull it forward, and that will stay like that. So if you want to like uh, make shockwave all weapon all powerful, you do that. Um, his other smaller weapon right here, he's got this little sword, which uh, doesn't look too good right here, but on this side it looks good. Uh, actually, here's the sword. Uh, that He has everything like in the movie, this little sword on his arm. And he does have uh, mech tech ports all over him, right on his arm. He's got one right here, so you can have it from the side. Um, there we go, finally got that in. From the side. And then, um... You could right here, but that's where the hose is. And then there is the mech tech point right on top, uh, right here. You can put it in right here. And uh, then he's got a humongous, humongous, you know, that that's shockwave, all powerful uh, for vehicle form. So um, ugh, I can't get that settled. So um, yeah, overall his vehicle form is okay. Uh, it is good. Uh, not too many people like it, but I, I kind of do. It, it's a good, it's cool. Um, even though Shockwave really never transforms in the movie, um, you know, it, it, it's still a nice, nice looking thing. Actually, I don't think he does, but, uh, he does have these two cool things, and he has a good purple painting, some silver, some gold, uh... You know, nice uh, painting with the tracks. The paint job is f awesome on this figure. A lot better than the previous Voyagers we've gotten. And uh, it, it's just good. So, um, yes. Now, the first thing you want to do to transform him into his actual robot is uh, undo the hose. 
uh, bring his hands up. Same thing right here. Bring his hands up. Uh, I you can if you want to have his hand with his cannon, but I'll keep that down his uh, hand right here because I like having it so it only looks like he has a cannon on that arm. But then you can flip this arm up. Um, when you do that, you can untab this. Um, yeah, you can untab that. Do that just like this, and then you uh, come up right here and uh, just flip this. I think. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to break it here. Uh, you bring this kind of part kind of up and just leave this like that for now, basically. Uh, but you can. But well, actually, what you should do is uh, turn these around this way. Uh, Hang on, since I'm going to be more tall, there we go, so uh, they were like this, so put them inwards like this, and then the two uh, tabs right there go right into the two holes right there, right there, so um, just align it properly, and uh, they should go in the holes, but not right now, <laughs> sorry, uh, you just uh, untab all this, Kind of just take it and uh, untab it like that, just like so. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, spin it around. Uh, uh, bring this like this, like the heel. Bring that for both sides, uh, like that. Perfect. Um, next, just take out the feet. And I'll just come out like that. Uh, flip up the shin. Basically, the kneecap right there. Same thing right here, kneecap. And bring this part forward. That will be his face. So you have this part. And now you can properly uh, put align this so he does have uh, that now. And uh, you just bring down his arms. Oops, not too much, but bring down his arms. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you bring down his arms, and then if you accidentally did what I did, you just plug it back in there somehow, which I'm trying to do as best as I can, so this doesn't slow up the video, because we don't have all day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, there we go. And then got that good, got that good. Flip it up good. Alright. And if you haven't noticed, this transformation is fairly simple. Then back here, you want to uh, take this piece and flip it to the side, kind of. And uh, actually, I think this should be a good time to just insert the hose. Just goes in right there. And just keep it down there to the side. So uh, there, now you already have the hose. Then for this part, you want to uh, kind of bend it. And then it'll just uh, flip around like so. Uh, you want to undo it kind of like that. Uh, bring this part. This is his head. Uh, hang on. Let's see what you have to do. Oh, yeah. Alright. Just uh, bring the silver piece down like so. Uh, turn his head over. Get these pieces. Uh, tab it in. There is this tab. And it'll go into that little slot right there. And uh, so just turn both of these around. And uh, put these into these slots. Alright, just get them into the slots. Perfectly good. Alright. The hose piece, uh, just keep it like that. Alright. And then you got that piece all down. You come up here, kind of just get everything situated because things, come on, get out of your way sometimes during transformation. And, um, everyone, there's Shockwave. Now, um, Shockwave is very nice looking, I've got to say. This guy is fantastic. Um, if you didn't like the, you know, ground force mode or whatever that was it's not even like a trend like yeah but it does have a cybertronian look and that is good to keep keep kind of cybertron you know 
you, it's a good remembrance that these are Transformers. They're not, like, just robots, you know, that this is how they did look. This is, you know, keeping that same thought in your head, which is cool. Uh, but this should basically be enough for you. This is a fantastic, fantastic <laughs> Voyager class. Uh, it's got the details of a leader class, and it is beautiful, I must say. Beautiful. Um, he has great painting in this mode, too. You can see more of the gold. Uh, he has great, great purple uh, paint job all over him, and that that's fantastic. Uh, same thing for uh, his sword has a great, um, as you can see, the sword has an awesome painting, t um, and it looks it looks cool. Uh, it's kind of got a gleam to it, and it's got a lot of robot look to it, which is very nice. And um, yeah, um, he's just got he's full of actual detail. You can actually see. Like head sculpt. Let me bring this up. Head sculpt. His head sculpt is beautiful. If you guys can see that good. Just beautiful. That's, that's so much detail. It's just fantastic. Let's see it. Great. Great looking face. Just spectacular. Look at that. That's perfect. Everything about this figure is amazing. Uh you know especially oh that's just beautiful so yeah so this this is good um he also again has his mech tech so you could just do that or you can uh bring it all the way down and he's got his uh you know perfect good looking cannon and uh he does have his sword here and it does move and if you want to you can untab this and then you can also again put it in the mech tech port and make it a sword too but uh, that doesn't look good because this side is showing and you know the only good place you could see that is from the back and uh, I don't know about that so um, I, I like it normal too and this is how Shockwave looks in the movie so um, it is a lot better so yeah I think we should stick with that um, definitely so yes, that that's that's good. Um, mm -hmm. All right, now I'm actually going to do a fantastic part two uh, for Shockwave. It's going to be just the transformation back, and I'm actually going to do it. Not like I didn't do it for Ironhide. I'm going to try to for Ironhide. I wish I could delete it because it looks bad, but um, you know, uh, kind of. I'm going to just do a quick size comparison. And also, anyways, here's the uh, leader Ironhide, if any of you, you know, care. That's how he's supposed to look. Just tab it back in, and that's basically how it's supposed to look, everyone. The the ones of you that, you know, that that's how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look just like this. And uh, it's a very good figure, and I highly recommend him. One of our best leader classes. All right, now on to the real Shockwave. Shockwave to a deluxe. That's Roadbuster. He's kind of a small Voyager, if you ask me. But, um, you know, here, there's him and Roadbuster together. Uh, kind of small, if you ask me. But he does look good. He is still a good, uh, good, good, good figure. And, um... In front of it, him to his Movie 2 leader, Megatron... As you can see, a humongous difference there. And, um... Alright. And him to Movie 3, Sentinel Prime. Oh, God, Sentinel, don't fall. Please don't fall. Sentinel? No. 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 Okay. There we go. Just come on, come on, Sentinel. Be a good boy. Be 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 a good fire truck. There we go. Even though, all right, come on, you're good. You're good. Come on. Oh my goodness gracious, Sentinel. You are fine. He 
you can't see it. Okay, there we go. So, uh, him to Sentinel, please don't fall. Um, yes, him to Sentinel, please don't fall. That's his name. Sentinel Prime, please don't fall. That's his new name. God. Sentinel. There, okay. Alright. Now, him to Sentinel. Yeah, there we go. So, um, very good. Um, but yeah. He's a great figure. Um, he's kind of small for Shockwave. Now, for him being called Shockwave, Shockwave is pretty much bigger than Optimus in their normal form. But, um, you know, he's a nice figure. So, um... I'm actually going to have to go for part two, so tune in. Keep tuning in uh, for part two. All right. Thanks, guys. This is the Joshua Bot uh, ready for part two.